Vegas Fire and Rescue. So at about 10.45 this morning, we received a report of a fire at the Siegel Suites, 700 North Las Vegas Boulevard. This is on the corner of Bonanza and North Las Vegas Boulevard. Our downtown units were not immediately on the scene. Uh, we had one here, but the rest of them were working another house fire. We had a working house fire where three people were transported to the hospital, serious fire with smoke and no, with burns. Just previous, and I'll be putting information out on that fire, and that's just down the street. Uh, units came in, they found a fire in a third floor apartment. This is a three story building on the rear side of the building. The fire was confined to the one unit. Probably going to be some roof damage as we tear up the roof. It might affect a couple of other units, but it did not destroy the building. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Uh, we transported four Las Vegas Metropolitan Police officers to the hospital for minor smoke inhalation. Uh, probably a little heat involved with that also because of the excitement. And a few of them had uh, some scrapes and that they got here uh, immediately uh, at the beginning of the fire and was in the process of going around evacuating the apartments. There was a lot of smoke, so they probably breathed in a little smoke and with this hot temperature. Uh, they don't have the air packs that we have on. Uh, they didn't feel good. One apparently passed out, and that was the first one. He was transported to the hospital immediately. The other three were transported on advice of our paramedics on the scene. Just to be safe, let's be checked out. So the only four injuries that we have are the police officers, but they appear to be they're going to be fine. The cause of the fire is under investigation. It was confined to the one unit. Tim? I interviewed a witness who thought they heard a domestic dispute prior to the fire. Have you heard anything about no. that? Our investigators are at the scene of the other fire because that came in about 10 minutes prior, and they were already just arriving on scene. So they're going to finish that uh, incident first, and then they will come to this one because we do have those uh, three people that were burned that uh, were transported to trauma. Okay, and then with all these folks out on the street and so forth, what, what do you have to do to try and help them out? Do you think they'll be able to eventually get back in? Uh, it's probably very soon. Uh, all uh, everybody except maybe for that floor uh, that's adjacent. It did spread to the building a little bit. Uh, the palm trees directly behind me, all the way in the back. You can see they're black. The fire came out of the fire out of the apartment, lapped up those trees, and caught the trees on fire, which then caused drop down embers onto the roof and caught the roof on fire of the next building. So we're in the process of using our thermal imaging cameras, ticks we call them, to make sure that we don't have any hidden fires in the attics and that. We want to make sure there's no fire in that building before we let anybody go back in. Be very soon. And were you guys able to find out who lives in that, uh, that apartment or that this, uh, the Metro 5 anyone that they had to pull out? Or... So we'll let our investigators do that. We're waiting for them to arrive on scene. Uh, we'll probably get one that'll come in off duty really quick because this is, this is such a big incident to work with Metro and we'll, we will try to come up with something. But we'll let the investigators do that and that's probably gonna take a couple of hours. How long was it until water was first on the fire? I'm sorry. How long was it until water was first on the fire? I don't have an exact time, but water was on the fire pretty quick. So uh, when we got the reports, uh, Metro was radioing the reports to us. Uh, Actually, it was a North Las Vegas battalion chief that arrived on scene first. He drove around the building and found the building was on the back, and he told the units to uh, come around to the backside pretty quick. Fire was lapping up, and they did lop some water up there really quick once they got on the scene. So it was a North Las Vegas engine that was coming from the other fire. I told them to uh, come here, and they were able to get water on the fire pretty quick. That's why it's confined mostly to that one unit. Tim, did you hear how many people had to be evacuated or a rough estimate? I haven't had a chance to talk to management yet. We'll get, we'll, I'll try to get you a number. Um, it's obviously hot out. Can you speak to the difficulty of battling the fire when it's It is. It's very hot. Yesterday was a uh, heat warning day. Still pretty warm today. Uh, so it is hot. Uh, not surprised about the police officers. Uh, they're probably really excited. Their adrenaline was probably really flowing. You have a lot of people in a building. You're breathing in smoke, which makes you a little bit more inefficient. And then with this heat, uh, 
it's not unusual. They'll even do it to uh, our own people if they don't have that special equipment on that, like we usually wear to a fire. So, but uh, they did a commendable job. They got those people out of that building uh, be while we were on the way here, which is what we want. Whenever we get to a fire, the first thing that we're most concerned about is the people inside. And we want those people out of the building. The building can be fixed. We don't want the people to be hurt. Uh, I haven't looked at the times yet on the call. And knockdown means that uh, we're not going to declare a knockdown until we're absolutely sure that fire is complete, almost completely out, that it's not going to take off in other portions of the building in that. Probably picking up equipment and opening up this street probably pretty quick because it's on the back side of the building. If you look on my Twitter, I'm gonna start posting some pictures of the apartment so you can see what the apartment looks like where the fire occurred in that. But we're on the uh, downside right now. Things are de-escalating, we call it. People are picking up equipment, it's under investigation.